been up to today? What have you been doing today so far? Uh, I'm, I was working all day. Uh, about one hour ago, I came at home. Okay. And, uh, and I joined to the class. To class. Okay. We'd say I was working all day about an hour ago. Uh, I came home. Uh, I came yeah. Home. Okay. And I joined the class. Okay. Good. Nice. Well, it's good to see you. Um, and we've also got Hurian. How are you doing? Uh, very good. How are you? Doing really well. Thanks for asking. Um, and Hurian, uh, I guess what have you been up to today? Um, no, maybe no, nothing. Uh, uh, I was working in the morning and I have a uh, meeting and no more. Okay, so you're working in the morning, had a meeting, not much else. Um, you know, nothing interesting for you. <laughs> okay, I guess, I don't know, what was your meeting about? And, uh, not a meeting uh, because I, I work in, in in educational institute here in for uh, it's a government institution of government Go, okay. sorry go, governmental institution uh -huh. yeah and we are making a evaluation of the programs and we are uh, uh, the meeting each other professor okay to do that uh, one more time, can you repeat that? Uh, okay. uh, it's my microphone? No, Vera, keep your microphone muted for now. Hold on, so just keep that muted um, and repeat that one more time. No. Yeah, you're good. Okay. So one more time. Uh, now the meeting's about the... the Julian, sorry, you're muted now. Uh, can you repeat what you were saying? The meeting was about what? The meeting, yeah, now? Uh-huh, you're good. Okay. Uh, the the meeting's about the evaluation of different programs uh, in the okay. in the institute. And okay. now the the yes, the programs and the actions to take in the future. To, to improve in that. Okay, nice. It sounds good. No, very All boring, right. but not important. <laughs> <laughs> sounds kind of boring. Uh, Vera, Vera, are you there? Can you unmute your microphone now? Yes, sure, I'm here. Uh, hello, everyone. Hi. Um, okay, it doesn't sound like there's much of an echo anymore. Um, so, Vera, where are you from? Uh, one more second. I should use my uh, earphones. Um, yes, hello again. <laughs> um, I currently live in Moscow and actually I'm, I'm from Russia. Okay. And I was born here. Nice. Okay. And what do you like to do for fun? What do you do in your free time? Oh, everything. Hanging out with friends, uh, reading books, watching different movies. So like all people do. Okay. Nothing good. special. <laughs> no, but all good things to do for fun. Um, okay. And good to meet you. Anna Carolino, welcome back. How's it going, Anna? Thank you, Joshua. Uh, fine. Like usual. Okay. Usually. Yeah, what have you done since I saw you this morning? Zoot. Sorry? Zoot. Zoot. Okay. <laughs> Um, I mean, were you online? Were you? What were you doing? I, I've been attending some classes, studying English, and relaxing. Okay, classes and, English. and playing Candy Crush Soda. <laughs> nice. uh, right. While I attended the class. Okay, good. Um, and Amp, how's it going? Hi, teacher. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you. What about you? Doing pretty well, thanks for asking. Um, and Amp, what have you been up to this morning? 
Uh, well, just uh, in three classes. This is my third class today. Nice. Okay. Anything exciting that you learned? Yes, new vocabulary. Yes, I am always learning. Good. Nice. Do you have a favorite word that you've learned today? No, no, no favorite one, but yes, some some new ones. So, or maybe some that I I saw before, but because I, I don't use every day, I just forgot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Herman, welcome to class. How's it going, Herman? Hey, it's nice to see you again. Good to see you. And yeah, what have you done since I saw you last? Uh, I have been in a, another class, and then I had lunch. What did you have for lunch? Uh, fish with rice and okay. an artichoke. Okay. That sounds actually really tasty. Artichoke. Um, perfect. And... Um, oh, my goodness. Um, I've forgotten your name. It's... it's mm, Alec. Alec, how's it going? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Doing well. I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on with Google Hangouts. Are you I'm having some off. trouble? Yeah. I can hear you. That's enough. And you can hear me. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. 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 Herman, I know what our joke is. I was just uh, I was wondering about artichoke with like fish and and rice, just like how to please, combine uh, them. Please come, back, please come back to our conversation. I know it's more interesting to think about artichoke. Sorry, he just sent me a message. Um, and so yeah, uh, Attic, what have you been up to since I saw you last? I, I had another class as well. Okay. Did you learn anything exciting? Well, some idioms, like okay. memory, having a memory like an elephant. Nice. Yeah, it's a good one. It's very good. Okay. I don't know it. I didn't know it. I know it now. Well, now you know. Yeah, so I didn't know it in the past, but I know it now. Um, okay. Let's Super. get started. Everything is fine. <laughs> okay. You're breaking up maybe a little bit. Um, one thing that generally helps is if you try to close your browser and try to open it again, sometimes it freezes a little bit. It might be the browser. Um, I'm not sure if you're using Google Chrome, um, but I like, oh, oh, there you go. Uh, let's get started with today's class. Um, so we're going to be reading a short story. Um, and let's start with Vera. Can you read the title and maybe the first paragraph there? Okay, it's, it's so fun how you pronounce my word, uh, my name. <laughs> how do you pronounce your name? Sorry, how do you pronounce your name? No, no, uh, just, uh, it, it sounds really funny, <laughs> the era. <laughs> okay, in Russian language, actually, my name is pronounced like <laughs> but It's It's really hard to pronounce the sound R. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to read it. But it's it's pretty small, uh, small letters. But it's okay. Um, okay, A and P. Yeah, it's just it's much better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. e in walks these three girls in nothing but bathing suits. I'm in the third checkout slot with my back to the door, so I don't see them until they are over by the brat. The one that caught my eye first was the one in the plate green two-piece. She was a chunky kid with a good tan and sweet broad soft looking tan with those two crescents of white just under it where the sun never seems to hit and the top of the backs of her legs. Good. Okay. Can you repeat plaid? Plaid? Mm -hmm. Plaid. Ah, oh, man, come on. Sorry. Uh, yeah, plaid. And a sweet, broad, soft-looking can. Sweet, broad, soft-looking can. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Does anybody know what uh, he's talking about, the narrator? Um, well, uh, I know, but 
um, it, it, it's rather um, it, it's rather hard to 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 find the synonym to find the definition of this um, of this phrase. Um, yeah, I mean, can you can you paraphrase? Um, yes, let me try. So, broad, soft-looking can. Um, something like, I don't know, let me think about it. <laughs> um, okay, something like, uh, call a can. <laughs> a what? Mm. I think it's, it's, it, it's better for you to, to help me in this case. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Does anybody think they can explain what? what um, I know about? that uh, sweet broad. Uh, it it can be also uh, just a woman, but in slang, uh, informal way ah. of. Yeah. So, it's a little bit different in this case. Um, a little bit. A sweet broad. Broad just means like wide. Um, does anybody think they could explain what this means really quickly? Anybody? Spacious. Yeah, it's a, a big butt. A big butt. Um, so this girl has a big butt. A can is kind of slang for butt. So she's got a big, soft-looking butt. Um, and she's wearing a green two-piece, which is a bikini. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Okay. And Okay. And let's have Julian. Can you read the next paragraph? I stood there with my hand on the on a box of Hijo crackers trying to remember if I rang it off or not. I ring it up again, and the customer starts giving, giving me help. Uh, she wants these cash car register washers, uh, which about 50 with rouge on her cheekbones, and no eyebrows. And I know it made, uh, I know it made her day to trip me up. Uh, she'd been washing car register for years and probably never seen a mistake before. Good. Uh, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. What is it? It's just a brand of crackers. Hi ho crackers. Okay. It's like Oreos, Oreo crackers, or Oreo cookies. Uh, she's one of these. She's one of these cash she's register watchers. She's one of these. She, uh -huh. she one of, she one of these. Mm -hmm. Rouge. Rouge. Ro Rouge. Rouge. Oh, Rouge. Rouge. Yeah. Rouge. Good. Good. Registers. Registers. Huh? Good. Any questions here so far? No. I have no question. Good. And uh, let's have Kerman, can you read the next part? By the time I got her feathers smooth and her goodies into the bag, she gives me a little snort in passing. If she's been born at the right time, they will have burned her over in Salem. By the time I get her on her way, the girls had circled around the bread and were coming back without a push cart. Back my way along the counters, in the eyes, the aisle, between the checkouts and the special beans, they didn't have, they, they didn't even have shoes. Good. Okay. By the time I got her feathers smoothed, can you repeat feathers smooth? Feathers smooth. Good. Um. Okay. And then, excuse me. I think that sounds good. What does feathers smoothed? Mm, it's like a soft skin. Hmm. It's a little bit different. Um. By the time I got her feather smooth, it's like by the time I got her calmed down. 
So if you're smoothing somebody's feathers, you're calming them down. Um, so don't get your feathers ruffled. It's like, don't get frustrated or don't freak out. Um, yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a an idiom. Um, does anybody know what he's talking about if she'd been born at the right time, they would have burned her over in Salem? Anybody have any idea? Come U.S. history. Dark Ages? So. Well, they, they, yes. They, women, they burn the women with their Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for being Massachusetts. Um, so in Salem, Massachusetts, they, they, there was a time where they burned a woman for being witches. Um, yeah, which is really awful, but big part of the U.S. history. Um, okay, so does anybody have any questions so far? No, all clear. Okay. Um, and just to be clear, ringing up is just, you know, scanning the items to count the price. Let's go. Pacho, can you read this next paragraph? Uh, there was this chunky one with the two pieces. It was bring, uh, it was bright green and the uh, seams on the bra were still uh, sharp and her belly was still pretty. pretty. Hail, so I guess she just got it. Uh, the suit. Uh, there was this one with one of uh, those uh, chubby berry faces. Uh, the lips all uh, bunched uh, together under her nose. This one and a uh, tall one with black hair that had not uh, quite frizzed uh, right. And one of the uh, some burns right across under the eyes. Uh, and the chain that was too long, you know, uh, the uh, kind of girl uh, other girls think is very uh, striking and attractive, but never quite makes it, never quite makes it, uh, as they very well know, which is why they like her so much. And then the third one that uh, was not quite uh, so tall. Good. Two piece. Can you repeat two piece? Bacho? Yeah, no, I don't know. Just repeat it, two piece. Ah, two piece. Uh huh. A two piece is a bikini. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Um, the correction with bright. Um, hadn't, hadn't. Hadn't. Yeah, hadn't. The T is almost swallowed. Um, and sunburns. Sunburns. Chin. Chin. Uh, the, so, and a chin that was too long. You know, the kind of girl. Uh. So just read this whole part again with okay. a pause. Uh, chin. Chin that was uh, too long, you know. Chin that was too long. You know, the type of girl... The chin so just, was too long, you know? Mm, no, so like when we've got this, there's a bigger pause. So the chin that was too long. You know, the type of girl... One more time. Uh, chin that was too long, no? You know. You know. You know. Yeah. So it, it's like you're starting again, or it's okay. like you think and you're you're like trying to explain it a little bit more. Okay. So it's a, and then quite. Quite. Mhm. Mm okay. And uh, Anna Kalina, can you read the next the next paragraph? Yes, teacher. Okay. Excuse me, Pash. All right. She was a queen. She kind of let them. The other two picking around and make their shoulders round. 
She didn't look around, not at the screen. She just walked straight on slowly on these long white prima donna legs. She came down a little harder on her heels as if she didn't walk in her bare feet that much, putting down her heels and then letting the weight move along to her to toes, toes, sorry, as toes, as if she was testing the floor with every step, putting a little deliberate extra action into it. You never know for sure how girls' minds work. Do you really think it's a mind in there or just a little buzz, like a bee in a glass jar? But you got the idea she had talked the other two into coming here with her. And now she was showing them how to do it. Walk slow and hold yourself straight. Oh my gosh, it is ridiculous as swimming suits and high heels. My gosh. Okay, making. I cannot hear you, teacher. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. She's in her bare feet. She's not in uh, high heels. Um, so she's in her bare feet, and she's landing oh, on her heel. Okay. So she's landing on her heel, and then letting her weight move to her toes. So she's like, kind of slamming down, on her heels. Ah, oh, okay. And she she was walking bare feet as if he, she was very. High heels? Sort of. She's walking in bare feet like she's not used to walking in bare feet. That's it. So she's just oh, landing on her okay. heels. That's it. Toes. Oh, Can you repeat oh, toes? Right. Toes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, toes. And really well done. Does anybody have any questions here? So far, no questions? Pretty clear? Um, Amp, can you read the next paragraph? She had on a kind of dirty pink beige, maybe, I don't know, bathing suit with a little noble all over it, and, and what got me, the straps were down. They were off her shoulder, looped loose around the cool tops of her, of her arms. And I guess, as a result, the suit had slipped a little on her, so uh, all around the top of the cloth there was the, the shiny rim. If it hadn't been there, you wouldn't have known there could have been anything wider than those shoulders. With the straps pushed off, there was nothing between the top of the suit and the top of her head, except just hair. This gleam bare plane of the top of her chest down from the shoulder bones, like a dented sheet uh, of metal tilted in the light. I mean, it was more than pretty. Good. Really nice pronunciation. Um, she had on a kind of dirty pink, uh -huh. beige maybe, I don't know, bathing suit, uh, uh, yeah. She had on a kind of dirty pink, beige maybe, I don't know. I didn't suit with a little. Yeah, good. Nice job. Um, any questions here? Okay. Make sure you guys ask questions if you don't know, because it's it's easy to explain. But um, teacher, let's have, yes. If I stop you to ask about every single word. It will delay your class a lot. I mean, I think it's better if we understand, because I'm sure there are questions that everybody else has, and I'll go through them quickly. So what, what questions do you have? I, hmm. I had some before, but I, I forgot. I will okay. start asking from now. Good. And Ali, can you read the next paragraph? Ali? 
Yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, when should I start from? Uh, she had a sort of, uh, yeah, uh, she had a sort of, uh, okay, here, that the sun, that the sun and the salt had uh, blinched, done up in a pan that was an reveling and a kind of cream face walking into the A and B with your strap down I suppose it's the only kind of face you can have she held her head uh, so high her neck coming up out of those white shoulder look at kind of stretch it but I didn't mind the longer her neck was the more of hair there was good oaky hair oaky hair yeah oaky um bleached bleach and unraveling unraveling mm -hmm. and straps straps okay good and so she has oaky hair, so it's the color of an oak tree, so it's kind of a brown. Bleached, her her hair has like become whiter or less colored because of the sun and the salt. And her bun, like the thing that you put on the back of your hair, or put your hair up into, is unraveling, so it's coming undone. Um, and she's got a prim face. She's got like a really kind of like a queenly face. Um, very serious and like... I'm better than you kind of face. Um, and hopefully that makes sense. Any questions? All right. And Alec, can you read the next paragraph? She must have left in the corner of her eye, leaning over my shoulders, don't you see, in the second slot watching. Well, she didn't drip, no, the queen. She kept her eyes moving across the rocks and stopped at the turn so slow it made my stomach rub inside of my apron and bust to the other to the other two, who kind of huddled against her her for relief, and they all three of them went up to cat and dog food breakfast cereal macaroni. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> rice. Macaroni, macaroni rice raising, seasoning spreads, spaghetti soft drink, crackers. Is that crackers? Yeah, it is crackers. <laughs> crackers and cookies. Hazel. From the third slot, I looked straight up this easel to the mat, mat counter and watch them all the way. <laughs> Ace. Uh, she must have felt. Felt. She must have felt. Uh, she, trip was good. Uh, stopped. Stopped. Aisle. Aisle. Mm -hmm. And meat counter. Meat counter. Any questions here? Yes. Huddle? Uh-huh. So they like, grouped around her. So if you're really cold, you might huddle together with a bunch of people for warmth. Um, so they just, they felt uncomfortable, and so they got really close to her for confidence. Make okay. sense? Okay. Yes. And then apron? And then apron. 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 Sorry. It's something you use when you're cooking. Uh, it's also something that you wear when you're like grocery, when you work at a grocery store. Um, it covers the front of your body, but not the back of your body. Um, um, I don't know. Ah, that doesn't work. The one that um, you use in the kitchen, so you don't get dirty when you are preparing yep. food. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Man.
yeah, so those are images of aprons. So those are aprons. Anyways, um, good, good, really good questions. And let's have Vera, can you read the next paragraph? Yes, sure. Um, the fat one with a tan sort of fumbled with the cookies, but no, uh, but on second thought, she put the packages back. The sheep pushing their cards down the aisle. <laughs> aisle. Okay, aisle. The girls were walking against the unusual traffic. Not we. Uh, have one-way sign or anything uh, were pretty hilarious. You could see them when Queenie's white shoulders down on them, kind of jerk or hop or hiccup, but their eyes snapped back to their own baskets and on their pushed. Yes? Um, I bet you could set off um, dynamic in an A and B dynamite, <laughs> dynamite, <right? laughs> and people would buy and large keep reading and checking oatmeal off their list and muttering. Let me see, there was a third thing began with A, uh, asparagus, no, ah, uh, yes, uh, applesauce, or whatever it is they do mutter. Okay, I'm trying to understand what is going on here, you know, reading yeah. this text, and that's why it just sounds really strange. That's okay. You know, um, <laughs> I think you should have choose the, chosen the another text for reading. <laughs> it's hard to read out loud, this kind of text. Okay. It is. A few house slaves uh, in pin uh, curlers even looked around after pushing their cards past to make sure what they had seen was correct. Good. Nice job. Uh, let's look at aisle. Aisle? Yeah, aisle and usual. Usual? Good. And on they pushed. On they pushed. Uh-huh. Dynamite. Dynamite. Uh-huh. And... Let me see, there was a third thing. Begin with A. Asparagus? No. Uh, yeah, applesauce. Can you repeat that? Let me see. There was a third thing. Began with A. Uh, asparagus? No. Ah, uh, yes, applesauce. <laughs> Good. Whatever it is, they do matter. So, it should be, yes, I should be an actress, I, I guess. <laughs> that was good, though. You did a great job. So, what's happening here is... <laughs> the fat one who he noticed at first, the one in the green bathing suit, kind of like fumbles with the cookies, like she wants to buy them, but then she puts them back. Uh, the sheep pushing the carts down the aisle. This is like the just normal people who are doing things kind of without thinking. Um, at, and then there's like a pause. So the girls were walking against the usual traffic. Not that we have one-way signs or anything. So the girls are walking against all the people who are normally pushing their carts down the aisle. These people were pretty hilarious, just the way they looked. Because you could see them whenever this girl passed by, the one, the tall, pretty one who's leading the girls. Um, whenever they saw her, they'd kind of like jerk or hop or like hiccup. Something strange would happen. They'd do something strange. But then their eyes would snap back to their own baskets, and on they pushed. So they like they pretended nothing was happening. And he's saying, I bet you could set off dynamite, like make a huge explosion in this type of store. And people would generally just keep doing whatever they were doing before. You know, people are pretty, just, you know, almost drugged when they're in the store. They're just doing whatever they're doing. Um, and then, but this actually this got to a couple of them. They, like, actually reached them. Um, and then he's saying a few house slaves, which is a way of saying, like, a housewife, who just, you know, it's, yeah, a derogatory term for housewife. In pink curlers even, like, looked around. So it was something that actually got to people. So something that affected people. Does everybody understand that? Yes. It's a hard may, paragraph. Yes. May I ask you a couple of things? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Uh, first of all, hiccup. It's a. Is it a British spelling? In American, it's a spelling like a cut or no? Hiccup is like. Hic <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's but how it's spelled. The, the spelling is a, a bridge spelling because I've I've seen. No, I think that's how you spell I, it. I've seen this this way, something like that. I'm not sure. Let me type. Okay. Uh, this is the I way guess, we say it. I, I guess I'm not sure, but Maybe something. Maybe British English. I'm not sure. Something different, and and happy is. Like, like a jumping. Jump. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And any other questions? Okay. Let's have Simone. How is your connection? Oh, I hope it's better now. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, can you read until April? Okay, April. What is April, please? April is right here. And so start at you know. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay. You know, it's one thing to have a girl in a bathing suit down on the beach where um, what with the glare, nobody can look at each other much anyway. And another thing is the cool of the AP under the fluorescent light against a and P under mm. the fluorescent lights against all those stacked pack pack packages. Ah, with her feet paddling along naked over our checkerboard green and cream rubber tile floor. Oh, Daddy, stoke is sad beside me. I felt so faint, darling. I said, hold me tight. Stokes is marriage. With two babies chalked it up on his. Oh my, what is that? Who's the large <laughs> already? But as far as I can tell, that's the only difference. He's 22 and I was 19 this April. Good. Okay. Um, bathing suit. Bath. Bathing suit. A good job with AMP. Fluorescent. Uh, flor um, say it's again, like please. Flur. Fluorescent. Fluorescent. Mm -hmm. Packages. Packages. <laughs> mm -hmm. And chalked up. Um, say again, please. Chalked up. Chalked up. Mm -hmm. And fuselage. I think you said that pretty well. Fuselage. Um, okay, so <laughs> two babies chalked up on, on his fuselage already. So if you chalk something up, it's like you add something to a list. So this uh. boy this boy is married, and these two babies have already been like written on the list of things that he has. So he's chalked up two babies. Um, yeah. Okay, I see. Thank you. It comes from, so to help you guys remember, chalked up comes from when you're playing darts or pool or any game where there's like a chalkboard to help you keep score. If you make a score or you win, you can chalk up your win. You can chalk up th something that you've earned. And so this idea of you chalk up two babies um, on his fuselage, it's just like on the thing that he's carrying around. Um, anyways, hopefully that makes sense. Um, just the difference between the fluorescent lights of the AMP and a beach. Um, and these two gay, these two guys who work in the store are kind of like talking about these girls. Um, and where were we? Uh, Hurian, can you read these next two paragraphs? Okay. Uh, it is done. He asked the responsible married man finding his voice. I forgot to say he thinks he's going to manage on sunny day, maybe in the 99, when it's called the Great Alexander and Petrovskri Tea Company or something. What he meant was, our town is five miles from the, from the beach, with a big summer colony out of the point. 
but we are right in the middle of the town. And the women generally put on the sheer of short of something before they get out of the car into the street. And anyway, these are usually women with six shoulders and varicose bangs, maybe their legs and their body, including them, cold, careless. Nice. Um, put on a shirt or shorts? Shirt or shorts. Uh huh. And out of the car and into the street. Car into the street. Mapping. Mapping. Oh, but the coast, by the way. Um, nobody? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Could. Could. Good. Um, all right, and so they're kind of close to a beach, but not that close. And they're in the middle of town, and people generally put on shirt or shorts, something. Um, and these women are usually, like, really big women with lots of children. They've got varicose veins, which are veins that are really close to the surface of your skin. Um, and nobody could care about how... <laughs> um, how uncovered or covered they are. And let's have... Uh, Anna Catalina, can you read the next two paragraphs? Muddy? Yes. Yes. Um, it, it was written before and I didn't know and I forgot. I don't lesson. think mudding? Mudding is not a word. Um, I saw something like that. Okay. I'm not sure. Mutter, mutter. Oh, mutter. It's like to speak softly. It's like you're talking to yourself. Like, what do I need? Ah, okay, okay. Like, like whispering. Yeah, but you're talking to yourself out loud. But no, ah, nobody. thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. As I say, we're right in the middle of town. And if you stand at uh, our front doors, you can see two banks and the congressional church and the newspaper store. At, ah, sorry. Newspaper store and three real estate offices and about 27 old freeloaders tearing up Central Street because the sewer, sewer broke again. It's not as if you were on the Cape. We're north of Boston and there's people in town haven't seen the ocean for 20 years. Yeah. The girls Excuse me? Uh, no, I, I I was carrying on. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, the girls had hitched the meat counter and were asking, make my home something. He pointed, they pointed, and they shuffled, shuffled out of sight behind a pyramid of diet the late species. All that was left for us to see was old Mac Mahone patting his mouth and looking after them, sizing up their joints. Poor kids. I began to feel sorry for them. They couldn't help it. Good. Uh, congregational. Congreg... Congre Oof. Sorry. Uh, congregational. Yeah, Congre congregation. No, congregation. Perfect. Pyramid. 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 Delight. Delight. Mm -hmm. um, and so this first paragraph is really just saying they're not in a place where people generally should be wearing bathing suits. They're in the middle of town. There's like n stores, newspaper stores, real estate officers, and then he's kind of making a joke about people bums who live near the sewer. When the sewer breaks, they kind of run up the street. Um, the freeloader is somebody who doesn't work but gets things for free. Um, and then the girls go to the meat counter, ask one of the people who works there for something. Um, he points them where they go. They kind of disappear. And, they can, and from the front of the store, the checkout, they can see the old man who works in the meat part of the store kind of like 
patting his mouth and sizing up their joints. He's like kind of gawking at them. So yeah, just kind of like old man gawking, and he feels sorry for them. Okay, um, shuffle, shuffle, Shuff walk. Shuffle is like to walk slowly, um, not really lifting up your feet. Is a shuffle, just a way of walking. Um, and Amp, can you read this next paragraph? Okay. Now here comes the sad part, uh, part of the story. At least my family says it's sad, but I don't think it's sad myself. The store's pretty empty. It been Thursday afternoon, so there was nothing much to do except lean on the register and wait for the girls to show up again. Uh, the whole store was like a pinball machine, and I didn't know which tunnel they'd come out of. After a while, they come around out of the far aisle, around the light bulbs. We were course at a, a discount of the Caribbean Six of or Tony Martin things, or some such uh, gank you wonder they waste the wax on. Six packs of candy bars and plastic, plastic toys done up in cellophane that fall apart when a kid looks at them anyway. Around they come, Queen is still leading the way and holding a little gray jar in slots uh, three through seven, seven are a man and I could see her wandering between Stokes and me, but Stokes with his usual luck draw and the in baggy gray pants, who stumbles up with four giant cans of pineapple juice. What do these bums do with all that pineapple juice? I've often asked myself. So the carols come to me. Queenie puts down the jar and I take it into my fingers icy cold. Kingfish fancy Henry snacks in pure sour cream, 49 cents. Now her hands are empty, not a ring or a bracelet, bare as God made them. And I wonder where the, the money is coming from. Still with that prim look, she lifts a folded dollar bill out of the hollow of the center of her nobbled pink top. The jar went heavy in my hand. Really, I thought that was so cute. Good. Uh, register. Register. Huh. And cellophane. Cellophane. And Stokesy. Uh, Stokesy. Hmm. Pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. Uh. And them. God made them. Uh, God made them. Good. Okay. And so <laughs> here comes the sad part of the story. My family thinks it's sad. He doesn't think it's sad. So this is kind of like narrating um, just what's going to come next. It's foreshadowing. Um, the store's empty, so he's waiting at the register for the girls to show up again. In the whole story, he compares it to a pinball machine. He doesn't know where the girls are going to come out of, like what aisle they're going to come out of. And then eventually they come from the far aisle, um, just like with a bunch of junk in this far aisle. There's, you know, bad records um, that you wonder why they waste the wax on. So there's wax on records. Um, candy bars, really bad plastic toys that are going to fall apart. And then they come, Queenie, this tall girl, is still in front, and she's holding a little gray jar. Um, Stokes, the other guy who's married, gets bad luck. He gets an old person, an old party kind of slang, uh, in baggy gray pants. Um, so he, he stumbles up, so he's like tripping. So you kind of get the idea that he's a bum. He's a homeless person. Um, he has a can of pineapple juice, and again, you get this idea of bum. Um, so a homeless person. It's like, what do they do with all that pineapple juice? And so Stokesy gets bad luck. He doesn't get the girls. The girls come to his aisle, and she gives him the herring snacks, these fish in sour cream for 49 cents. 
And then she doesn't have anything. She doesn't have, like, anything in her hands. She doesn't have any rings. And she's just got her bathing suit on. And she takes out the money from the center of her bathing suit top. And he's, you know, just shocked by it. Um, Alec, can you read these next two paragraphs? The never body slot began to run out. Langel comes in from Eglin with a truck full of cabbages of the, of the lot and is about to scuttle into that door marked manager behind which he hides all day when the girls touch his eye. Langell's pretty dreary teaches Sunday school and the rest, but he doesn't miss miss that much. He comes so he comes over and says, "Girls, this isn't the bitch." Queenie blushes, though maybe it's just a brush of sunburn. It was not a noticing for the first time now that she was so close. My mother asked me to pick up a jar of herring, herring snacks. Her her voice a kind of startled, started or startled, startled, startled me. The, the way voices. Do when you see the people first, coming out so flat and dumpy, a kind of tone to you. The way it tickled over pickup and snacks. All of my sudden, I slid right down her voice into her living room. Okay, good. Um, Langle? Langle? Langle. Yeah, it's a name. Hagling? Haggling. Mm -hmm. um, startled. Startled. Good. This is a little bit tricky. Um, everybody's luck begins to run out. Bad things start to happen. Lengel, the manager, comes in. He'd been haggling or trying to get a better deal on a truck full of cabbages. And he's about to go into his office when he sees the girls. Um, Langle, the manager, is like a dreary person. He's kind of boring, but he doesn't miss much. He's pretty aware of what's going on. He comes over and he tells them that. Um, she blushes, um, and then she speaks, and he's surprised by her voice. He's startled. He, like, jumps. Um, he's not expecting it, and he felt like he knew her really well. This is a really strange phrase. I slid right down her voice into her living room. It's kind of poetic. It's trying to say that he like felt like he knew her um, more because of her voice. Um, herring is a type of fish. And let's have Vera. Can you read the next two here? Yes. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Good. Um... Her father and the other man were standing around in ice cream coats and bow ties and the women were in sandals picking up herring snacks on toothpicks of a big blade and they were all holding drinks the color of water with olives and sprigs of mint in them. When my parents have somebody over they get lemonade and if it's a real racy affair, Schultz, Schultz? <laughs> in, okay. in tall glasses with they will do it every time. Cartoons stand, stenciled on. That's all right, Langle said, but this isn't the beach. He is repeating this struck me as funny as if it had just occurred, occurred to him. And he had been thinking all these years the A and P was a great big dune and he was the head lifeguard. He didn't like my smiling, as I say he doesn't miss much, 
but he concentrates on giving the girls that said Sunday school super intendant stare. Good, really nice job. You did a great job reading. So again, he slid down her voice into a living room. He's imagining what's going on in her living room. Um, sprigs of mint is like a small stick of mint. Um, yeah, so he's imagining these people in the living room. Um, it's like a really fancy affair. Schlitz is a beer, so they're drinking Schlitz and lemonade. Um, cartoons are like drawn on with the stencil, which is like a tracing thing. Um, Langel is kind of just chastising them again. Uh, and let's have Hurian. Can you read um, these next four paragraphs? Chinese blush is now sunburned now, and the plum uh, on a plate that I like like it better from the back. I really should can pipes up. We weren't doing any shopping. We just came in for the one thing. That makes no difference. Lingle tells her, and I could uh, see from the why his eyes when that they hadn't noticed she was wearing a two piece pieces piece, piece before. He wants you decently dress it when you are coming here. Keep going. Uh, the, yes. Uh, we are decent, Queenie says suddenly. Her lower lip pushes pushing, getting sore now that she remembers her place, a place from which the crowd that runes and the AMP must look pretty crummy. Fancy hearing a snack flashing in her very blue eyes. Girls, I don't want to argue with you. After this, come in here with your shoulders covered. It's our policy. He turns his back. That's policy for you. Policy, it's, it's what the kingpins want. It's what the kingpins want. Uh, what the other wants it's a juvenile delinquency. Juvenile delinquency. Juvenile. Juvenile, juvenile delinquency. Mm -hmm. uh, plaid. Plaid. And dressed. Dress. Dressed. 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 Good. Um, so yeah, pretty apparent. Um, crummy is like lame or bad. Um, She's yeah, they're just like kind of arguing. She feels bad. He's embarrassing her. Um, he's being too like serious about the policy. Uh, let's have Herman. Can you read the next bit? Um, starting in all this while. Mm -hmm. All this while, the customer had been showing up there with their cards, but you know, ship, seeing a scene. They had all bunched up on Stoxy, who shook open a paper bag as gently as peeling a peach, not wanting to miss a word. I could feel in the silence everybody getting nervous, most of all Angel, who asked me, Sammy, have you rang up this purchase? I Keep thought and, yeah. and said no, but it wasn't about that I was thinking. I got through the punches. Four, nine, grog, duck. It's more complicated than you think. And after do you you do it often enough, it begins to make a little song that you hear words too. In my case, hello, being there, you, gang, ha, be, be, pull, splat, the splat being the drawer flying out in increase the bill tenderly as you may imagine. It just having come from between the two smoothest scoops of vanilla I had ever known were there and passed a half and penny into her narrow pink palm and nicely the hair rings in the back and twist its neck and hand it over all the time thinking. Yeah, okay, um, so pretty much he just rings them up. Um, he's got this like little thing that the 
the cash register makes. Um, and then, so I know ah, we're almost done. We don't have any time. I've got another class, unfortunately. Um, he quits, and you know he tells them he shouldn't have embarrassed them. He tells the manager, um, and he follows them out. Can't find them. Um, yeah, feel free to read it. Um, you did a really good job, everybody. Again, I wish we could have finished it. Um, but yeah, see you in a couple minutes if you guys are coming into my next class. If not, it was really good meeting you. Sorry we couldn't get through it. Um, maybe next time. Um, and the story is A and P by John Updike, and you can find it online. Um, but thanks again, and see you later, guys.